So this is a little hummingbird that was found outside about three weeks ago. And he has some neurologic signs. He's sticking his head up in the air, as you can see. And his eye actually is injured, and we're going to check it for ulcers. And the most important thing about this little guy is to teach everybody that if you find a wild animal outside, whether it's a bird or another kind of animal, that these are wild animals, and they really belong outside. And they don't really want to live in our homes. They want to be rehabilitated and put back out from where they came. So we're very gentle and we're very careful in the way that we handle these animals, but the goal is always to try to treat the medical problem, and we're just going to put a little dye in this guy's eye to see if he has an ulcer. Um, it's actually sealed shut a little bit. But to get him back to where he came from, so that we can get him back to his family, get him back to his environment, and get him back to the way he should be. Okay, let's see, is it the third one? open. Okay, so we've just opened up his eye, and we're going to try to take a look at it. It's very, very tiny. It's very swollen, but there's an eyeball in there. And we're going to try very hard to see if we can tell if there's an ulcer on his eye. It's going to be very difficult. But again, the, the, the people who found this bird did a wonderful job setting him up, and we'll show you in a minute. His environment, he's being fed all the appropriate things, and he is... Um, getting the appropriate care, and their goal is to get him back to where he came from, and that's where we're going to try to help them. But he really is an amazing little animal. So we're just going to wash his eye out and see if we can see whether there's been any retention of this dye on his eye, which would suggest that he has a little ulcer on his eye that we would need to medicate. And it's very hard to tell. Does it, well, actually there's a little, little tiny, tiny, tiny green dot in the middle, which looks like there is a little ulcer. So yeah, we can turn our light off and see if we can see a little brighter. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. But right in the center of his eye, he has a very tiny, tiny, tiny little microscopic millimeter green spot, which is an ulcer. And that is something I am hopeful we can turn our lights back on we can help him with. So, um, we're just going to take one quick look at him. Actually, I'll let you hold him and I'm going to listen to his heart, which is, I'm sure, racing very quickly. I am a little concerned that neurologically he's not 100% right. He probably got bonked in the head. His heart is going so fast I can hardly even hear it. But, okay. His weight is good and he seems to be able to perch normally and grasp normally. You can see also how translucent his wings are. The feathers are just amazing. They're completely see-through. You can just see, you can look right through them. And he's pretty amazing. So, all right, let's give him a little break. You can see him at the stage. Here we are with our little hummingbird friend. We're going to see maybe if we can even just put this is some medicam. He has a little head trauma, so we're going to see if maybe we put his. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. Perfect. He's taking our little tiny bit of medicam. It's wonderful that he could just reach right in there and do that. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to medicate his eye. And we're just going to open his eye up a little bit and put a drop in. That's an anti-inflammatory eye drop. Some of it's going to roll off. I know, it tastes kind of funny. And then we're going to give him a little antibiotic eye drop because he's got a little ulcer in his eye and he really wants to get away from me. But I'm going to try to open up his eye again very gently. And there he goes. Now we're going to put him back in his mouth. I'm sure he's going to shake off all of his... So he's doing his thing there, and he landed really, really normally, so he knows where he is. He's huffing and puffing, because that was stressful for him. But um, I think he's going to be okay if we can get this ulcer healed. So he's pretty incredible. You see his really, really long beak. They eat nectar, and he aims that little beak right into his little nectar feeder there. He was doing that before. And he eats nectar and he eats bugs, and um, they're pretty incredible because their wings beat so fast. And right now he's just huffing and puffing, so we're just going to give him a break for a few minutes and just let him hang out. But I think that if we can medicate his eye, we can get him back to where he should be. And again, oh, there he goes. He's moving around. I think he's recovering there uh, from all the handling. 
But if we can get him back to where he wants to be, there, you know, there are rescue facilities for all different types of birds. And there he goes, he's showing you how he can go to his nectar feeder. And for all types of birds and for all different types of mammals. And we are happy to help you here find the appropriate place to get um, these animals rehabilitated. But again, the lesson is please, 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 if you find injured wildlife, do not keep them in your home. You can keep them temporarily and give us a call. Um, we will take them over from you and help them the best we can medically and then get them to the appropriate facility as quickly as possible so that they can get back to doing their job out in the wild.